Creating presentations with multimedia in Google Sheets is a great way for teachers to ensure that their lessons are effective and engaging. In this brief tutorial, I just want to show you a sample Google Sheets presentation that a teacher might pass out to their students to give them both some instruction as well as assessment within the same file. It's a very basic spreadsheet. The goal is just to show you an example more so than to create a great spreadsheet. Um, in our school in the fourth grade, we spend a good amount of time in social studies talking about the Native Americans of California. The first thing you see is just the title page and it shows the kids what they're about to be studying. The next one you'll see is a slide about where the different tribes lived. So in our class, we assigned different students to groups, and then we gave each group their own Native American tribe to study. So this would be kind of like an introductory lesson. It would just have the kids first uh, locate their tribe and figure out where exactly they live directionally. Is their tribe from Northern California, Southern California, uh, Central California, uh, and just identifying their tribe by directions. The next slide uses a picture link to have the kids do some research on their own. It's just a picture of this Native American lady who has some different uh, beads and shells on. And the picture is linked to a website that talks about what Native Americans of California used as currency. So you see that in here it instructs the students to click on the picture and then read up on the web page to find in interesting facts about their tribe. The third slide has an embedded video um, that just talks about the brief history of Native Americans in California and it tells the students to listen for some fun facts that are interesting to them. The last slide is where the assessment piece comes in. It just has some questions that the students can answer if you pass out this spreadsheet using Google Classroom, each student will be allowed to edit it on their own, and it will actually just edit their copy of it. It won't edit the original copy. So you can instruct the students to go ahead and type their answers directly into the spreadsheet and then turn it in so that you can look over it and see uh, how much they're actually participating in the assignment, and you can assess whether or not they have mastered the concept. So they could just click here and type their answers into the box as they see fit, you know, according to which tribe they live in. Google Slides also makes it really easy for you to differentiate. So as an example, you could make um, a skeleton spreadsheet or slide and insert it into your slideshow that you're passing out to the kids. So if you felt like there were some students in your class that may struggle with completing the whole presentation, well then maybe they might benefit more from just filling in certain pieces of it so that they still have a spreadsheet that they can present but it just didn't require as much technological skill. It also might benefit to start off at the beginning of the year by giving your students these skeleton ones to fill in and then as they become more comfortable with the software they can start filling in more and more of their own slides on their own. If you have any suggestions for improvement or any comments, please leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to respond to all of them. And again, if you have any great ideas, go ahead and send them my way and I'll add them into the resource guide so that every other teacher can benefit from our hard work. Thanks and have a good day.